Veltosaurus was the name that paleontologist Adrian Hunt gave to isolated teeth that he collected near Tucumcari in rocks of Triassic age. Those are rocks that were about 220 million years old. When Adrian described the fossil in 1989, the closest resemblance of the teeth was to teeth of early plant-eating dinosaurs. So he believed, as did other paleontologists for quite some time, that Revoltosaurus represented some of the oldest teeth known of plant-eating dinosaurs. But in the last decade, a nearly complete skeleton, including a skull of Revoltosaurus, was discovered in the Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. And this skull and skeleton showed that Revoltosaurus is actually not a dinosaur. It's more of a crocodile-like or a crocodile relative. And therefore, what we have to conclude is that even though the teeth look like dinosaur teeth, they're the tooth of a crocodile-like animal. It's a classic case of what we call evolutionary convergence, where two different groups of organisms evolve similar structures. The crocodile-like animals and the dinosaurs, the plant-eating dinosaurs, had very similar teeth early in their evolution.